These are animals that seem make-believe. Thirteen, Dingiso. In the mountainous rainforest of New Guinea lives the Dingiso, a tiny tree-climbing kangaroo look-alike. The cute little tree climber only grows to two and a half feet from head to his long kangaroo tail. His coloring is black with white markings. His back legs are a similar makeup to a kangaroo's well-developed hind quarters, and the Dingiso hops on them with the same two-footed gait as the Australian kangaroo. But unlike the Australian kangaroo, the Dingiso has added adaptations that allow it to climb trees. The Dingiso has the perfect climbing apparatus in the form of long curved toenails and rough skin on its foot pads which help it grip and scale tree trunks and hang onto branches. Its tail offers it added balance as it climbs. Like the kangaroo, female dingisos have a stomach pouch that houses its young. The dingiso is declining rapidly in numbers due to illegal hunting, low birth rate, and habitat loss. 12. The Saiga Antelope There is little chance you will ever get to see the Saiga Antelope in real life because it's declined in numbers and is now on the critically endangered list. It has such a small and specific habitat, it can only be found in one location in Russia and three specific areas in Kazakhstan. What makes it such a phenomenal sighting is its unique and quirky face that resembles a mix between an antelope and an elephant. Its gonzo-like nose is completely flexible and quite animated in its movements. It is a small antelope, reaching no larger than a goat, so really quite a comical sighting all around if you ever did manage to spot one. 11. The Bearded Pig If given a monocle, a top hat, and a bow tie, the Bornean Bearded Pig might look quite distinguished, but sadly, in its wild forest habitat of Sumatra, Borneo, and the Malay Peninsula, there aren't many bearded pig outfitters to see this dream realized. Other than its distinguishing facial trim, the bearded pig embodies the typical lifestyle of a wild pig. Bearded pigs are omnivores, mostly surviving on a variety of foraged vegetable and plant matter it finds on the forest floor. They snack on any insect it might happen upon to boost its protein intake. These smart foragers have worked out if they hang around a group of gibbons, they can cash in on the fallen fruit from these messy eaters. Bearded pigs are vulnerable to big cat predators like clouded leopards and tigers, but the main threat to their numbers is hunting from humans. 10. Golden Lion Tamarin the golden lion tamarin is one of those animals that was just born to stand out, and with its bright orange Kool-Aid coloring, it does just that. They are slight little monkeys, only reaching a body length of 9 inches. However, their dexterous tails do add another 13 and a half inches. Their showstopper golden orange mane of glossy fur frames their animated gray and black face. Watch the golden lion tamarin for a few minutes, and you will recognize a hundred human-like expressions and gestures that will make even the hardest heart crumble. They live their lives in the tree canopies and move from tree to tree in boundless swings. They share parental duties of rearing their young, and often males carry babies on their backs when their babies aren't feeding. Adults are omnivorous and feed on insects, lizards, birds, and fruit. They are now a critically endangered species due to logging and agricultural expansion, destroying their natural habitat. 9. The Royal Flycatcher Everyone looks underdressed when the Royal Flycatcher is around. Nothing can quite match the fanciful flair of this Amazonian bird's striking headgear. They stand six and a half inches tall and can swiftly dart from branch to branch on the hunt for flying insects. They catch them mid-air or snap them up while they're resting on a leaf in the forests they call home in the Amazon basin. Their nests are also larger than life and can reach up to six feet long, hanging on branches near water so that it's hard for predators to attack while they're nesting. 8. Axolotl Scientists are on the hunt for the wild axolotl. Since 2013, a study attempting to record the local population of axolotls in Mexico City's lakes and canals where they live didn't find a single axolotl in four months of searching. The axolotl is also known as the water monster or the Mexican walking fish because its fins look like four stubby legs that it uses to walk along the lake bottom. Although the axolotl is also equipped to swim along the surface of the water with its one foot long body. Its gills are in a fan shape that make it look a lot like a lizard with a smiley face. They are a popular aquarium pet, but sadly their natural environment in Mexico City is so polluted it's feared they no longer exist in the wild. 7. 
Cantor's giant soft-shelled turtle. The frog-faced turtle, or Cantor's giant soft-shell turtle, grows to a massive six feet in length. They are found in fresh water throughout Asia, with a specific footprint covering the area from Bangladesh in the west to the Philippines in the east. Nowadays, they are scarce because their eggs are harvested for food, causing an uncontrolled population decline. For many years, it was thought that the Cantor's giant softshell turtle had completely disappeared, but in 2007, some frog-faced turtles were rediscovered in Cambodia. The Cambodian government launched a conservation campaign aiming at protecting hatchlings and nurturing them into young adulthood before releasing them into the river. The project was a success and more than 8,000 hatchlings have been released into the Mekong River since 2007. 6. Okapia Johnstoni the Okapia Johnstoni, known as Okapi for short, looks like a child's drawing of a giraffe, horse, zebra brought to life. It stands about five feet tall from hoof to shoulders, but measures eight feet long from nose to tail. It sports the gait of a giraffe, and its neck seems stuck in an awkward in-between phase between horse and giraffe, and it rocks the coloring of half zebra, half brown horse coat. They are all part of excellent camouflage to help it blend into the dense tropical rainforests of the Northeastern Democratic Republic of the Congo. Its long tongue is agile at plucking buds, leaves, and branches from trees and shrubs, much like a giraffe. But sadly, this loping wonder won't be around too much longer as it is endangered, with numbers as low as 20,000 left in the wild. 5. Patagonian Maras these guys are cute. You probably didn't know that the world needed a tiny rabbit mixed with an antelope, but the Patagonian Maras proves that it truly did. They're a long-legged rodent with a body shaped like an antelope or similar hoofed animal. They rock the perfectly proportioned ears and a short tail that matches well with their old man, gray-brown, wiry-haired coat that all comes together for the maximum cuteness factor. They move by hopping like a rabbit, galloping, or even cuter, stotting, a unique form of locomotion used by ungulates where they bounce on all fours with all perfect proportions that make it adorable as Bambi. They live in arid grasslands and brushlands where they can run free on the range, covering a large area they drift around throughout their life, equating to 242 acres around central and southern Argentina. They eat grass, cacti, seeds, fruit and flowers, and slightly less cute, they sometimes consume their own dung. But back to the cuteness. They travel in mating pairs for life, and the male will chivalrously protect his mate against predators or rivals. They need to stick closely together because only every 100 days there is a 30 minute window for fertilization to take place. Females can only give birth to one litter a year, consisting of only one to three young, so it's a slow population growth compared to other rodents. 4. Platypus. Cross a duck with a beaver, and what do you get? The duck-billed platypus, of course. And if a web-footed water mammal that lays eggs seems a little far-fetched, well, you won't be the only one. When New South Wales Governor John Hunter first discovered them, he sent a platypus carcass to England for study in 1799. English natural had a hard time believing it wasn't a complete hoax. They thought it might be the work of a genius taxidermist. The animal is native to Australia and is around two feet in length and weighs just three and a half pounds. The platypus is a forager that will sift river gravel and mud through its bill to find insects, larvae, worms, and shellfish. Like a hamster, it stores up the food it finds in its cheeks. When it surfaces, it uses the gravel to grind the food, as it has no teeth of its own to chew. 3. Garanuk. Garanuk means giraffe necked in Somali. This long necked antelope has a disproportionately small head for its large size, with large eyes and ears, making it pretty funny to look at. To make them even weirder, they eat by standing on just two legs. They do this to reach the higher branches that other species of gazelles and antelopes can't compete for. They are not a silent antelope and have a range of vocalizations like whistling when annoyed, bleeding loudly when they're in danger, a maternal soft bleat between mother and child, and a buzzing sound they make when alarmed. They're pretty much the long-necked, small-faced, one-man band of the African landscape. 2. Spot-bellied Eagle Owl A Sri Lankan legend goes that a man took the life of his own child, and when the mother of the child found out, she was so distraught, she ran into the jungle and ended it all. The gods transformed her into a creature called the Ulama, or Devil Bird, whose human-sounding wail is a bad omen when heard. 
But in the 1950s, an ornithologist, George Morton Henry, discovered that the devil bird actually existed and was actually the spot-bellied eagle owl. The spot-bellied eagle owl is found throughout South Asia, from India to Burma. Thankfully, other than its shrieking call, it poses no threat to humans as it preys on birds, reptiles, and fish. Which of these animals do you find hard to believe is actually real? Let us know in the comments below. 1. Albanian Pitbull Breed The Albanian Pitbull breed is hotly debated online among dog breeders. There's no denying that its piercing eyes and spotted coat make it striking, but the exotic nature of this new Albanian breed of Pitbull is not being recognized by officials. The dogs show all the usual characteristics you would expect from pit bulls, barring a few obvious differences. Firstly, they are exceptionally strong and muscular, and secondly, their coats are extremely beautiful with patterns you wouldn't normally find on a pit bull. Dog experts are reluctant to add this breed of dog to the official list as they believe they're a myth, made up by someone who's had a lot of time on their hands. But what do you think? 